What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Up Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally today when it comes to watchOS 8, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have watchOS 8.7 the first beta at the time i'm recording this video this is only available to developer beta testers and if you're a public beta tester by the time i release this video or the following day this update should be available now on my apple white series 7 that i'm updating here you can see the update size and it comes in exactly at 181 megabytes and i was updating from the official release of watchOS 8.6 now obviously this is not all that apple released today in fact if we open up safari and go to the developer.beta apple page you can see some other updates that were released today so we have ios as well as ipad os 15.6 first beta and when it comes to mac os you can see that we have mac os 12.5 beta and when it comes to watch os we have watch os 8.7 beta of course this is the video for that and when it comes to tv os we have tv os 15.6 beta now most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half man half tech so if that's something that interests you then a sub to the channel would really be appreciated now as you can see here on my apple watch i've already updated my device and you can see the notification that comes up here your apple watch is now up to date and let's go ahead and look at the software changes that came with this update so if we go into settings go to general and go to where it says about you can see that we have a new build number and this build number is 19u5027c so it ends with a c which is you know for a first beta more stable than what we saw for the first beta of watchOS 8.6 but still is a beta and anything can be expected so that's the build number now in terms of what's new or what's been changed for this update i tried to look around in the software and also look at some uh, apple watch faces to see whether this update introduces something new but it seems like we still have the regular existing watch faces and changes similarly to watch os 8.6 and in the release notes apple mentioned that this is actually fixing bugs and security update now if we go to the release notes of this watch os 8.7 i just want to show you what apple told us with regards to this update so watch os 8.7 beta you'll be able to see that there are no new release notes for this beta software update so apple doesn't really tell us much but there is something that i would like to share with you when it comes to some accessibility settings that apple released today in their news release so if you go to the apple news page here you'll be able to see that we have some accessibilities that apple previews innovative accessibility features that are coming to the apple watch as well as the iphone and if you go down a little bit you'll be able to see more on that for the apple watch so with apple watch mirroring users will be able to control the apple watch from their paired iphone and this is something that's going to be able to help those that might not be able to see all the text that's on the tiny screen of the apple watch so you'll be able to mirror your apple watch screen on your iphone and this will give Give you features like voice control switch control and also work as an alternative to tapping the display so that's something that has to do with mirroring and then we also have quick actions on the apple watch which will help users perform time sensitive actions like answering a phone call by basically just double pinching or clenching depending on the setting that you set up once this accessibility becomes available and these are all going to be coming later on in the year as this is the apple newsroom update it was just released yesterday during the press release so these are some of the things that we can look forward to as we progress on through the year but other than that nothing much seems to have changed when it comes to watch os 8.7 this beta if we go into settings and go to see what the battery section says i will just want to see whether my uh, maximum health capacity drops so battery health if we click there it's on 98 percent and on 
watchOS 8.6 previously it was on 98 percent so no change in that aspect and with regards to when we could see this update it's still a bit early to tell but like what we saw with watchOS 8.6 it took about a month and a half for it to be released to the general public so we still have you know slightly over a month with beta testing for this watchOS 8.7 so i would look for a release that's somewhere close to the end of june or maybe perhaps early july now that's about it for me when it comes to this watch os 8.7 the first beta nothing much has changed performance wise i really can't tell anything with regards to this update and my watch faces seems to load normal and you can see they are working as they're supposed to let's just try this one and see how how it reacts should always takes a moment to load and once it does you can see upon tap there is this reaction which is good and battery wise since i just updated you can see i last charged it about two hours ago so i still need some time to be able to test it out and give you an update as to what this update addresses and how it's performing in terms of battery wise and so on so that's about it for me guys stay safe and if you like this video do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace